So testing out the uh, 2.4 gigahertz transmitter part to this uh, LGT 8F uh, NRF Nano. So we've got there the we've got the RF Nano, and we've got the uh, Lantian rip-off copy of my uh, frequency uh, spectrum scanner. Um, so now I'm going to, uh, at the moment it's just running a blink sketch, so the signal you can see on the uh, scanner is just from my uh, Wi-Fi. But I'm going to run a sketch now which um, sweeps uh, a carrier wave, you know, very, very low power carrier wave across the, uh, across the spectrum. Uh, I'm going to just upload that to the RF Nano now. And you can see it's uh, it takes about 55 seconds, I reckon, to to go all the way across. I've deliberately slowed it down because the uh, the scanner is uh, quite slow the way it responds. Um, it, it averages over a while in order to build up this spectrum display because it's only actually got one bit of. Uh, uh, signal strength, it can either say is the signal there or is it not. So it takes lots of samples uh, normally. But as I say, this sketch it just sweeps a, a CW wave right across the uh, across the spectrum at, at minuscule low power. So you're going to have the scanner right next to the uh, to the board, and then when it gets to the top end of the band, it just pauses for about uh, I don't know. 10 seconds I think I've got, something like that, and then it will just start again. So we're up at the top of the band now, you see it dying away, and then after about 10 seconds it will start going again. And as I say, it's, it's ridiculously low power, so if I move this just a, a couple of feet away, you'll see you, you, it more or less disappears. You've got to be right next to it. To see. You can wind the uh, uh, the transmit power up a lot higher, but that's not a very responsible thing to do, is it? Okay. Thanks for watching.